What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you um, Asus's AI Suite 3. It is pretty much the same as we saw in the Z87 motherboard series. Um, we are now on, of course, the Z97 series and it is a little bit different, um, but not much has changed. I'm just going to go over it if you've never seen it before. It is Asus's companion software that comes with their Z97 motherboards and gives you a lot of different options, allows you to do a lot of things within Windows that you would normally have to go into to the BIOS and do. So first um, you are brought to the screen when you bring it up and it has all of the different things that are built into AI Suite 3. So you have your dual intelligent processors 5, USB 3.0 boost, easy update, system information, push notice, and version. So the thing that most people are probably going to go into is the dual intelligent processors 5. So we go ahead and click that and that brings us in here and you can do a lot of different things. Um, the first thing you can do is the five-way optimization. What that's going to do is it's actually going to optimize your system based on a, a different, a couple different things. It's going to instantly overclock it. Um, give you the best performance possible with your system. It's actually really cool. Um, you can set up your power saving formula. So we're on performance right now, but you also have auto power saving and away mode. And then you have your um, sort of like information for each different section. So the TPU information will show you CPU speed and frequency, fan expert three will show you the fan status, what fans, um, and then if you hover over them, um, it shows you the speed and the curve that you have set up. And then if we go to the Digi Plus VRM, it shows you optimized phases, which we have on. On this side, we have Turbo App, which just shows you if it's on or off. And then the EPU is gonna show us our energy savings um, and the current CPU power and power savings. And then down at the bottom, we have voltages, CPU frequency, temperatures, and fan speeds. And we can actually go into this and um, set up different thresholds and things for your voltages, your temperatures, um, your fan speeds, and then you can actually um, change the temperature unit if you want to. It's just pretty cool that you have all of that right here on the bottom at all times so you can kind of see what's going on in your system. Now, with all of these, you can actually go into them. So the TPU is, of course, if, you, if you're familiar with the ASUS software, this is where you can change everything with your CPU. You can change your frequency, your ratio, all of these different types of things that you can go ahead in here and change. You have all of your voltages. All can be done within Windows, so you don't have to go into the BIOS and do it. It just makes it so much easier. You can also load profiles and, of course, save a profile that you have set up. Um, and, of course, you can go ahead and set up your CPU strap, um, depending on your processor and all of that. And I like it how it's just kind of just shows you everything. It's very, you know... Um, very, it has just a lot of examples and it just shows you a lot. It's not just text on a screen, so you kind of know what's going on. I really do like that. Now, if we get out of the TPU, we can go into the Fan Expert 3, and this is really in depth. Um, for each one of your fans that you set up, you can set up your curve, you can set up different modes like silent, standard, turbo, and full speed, and you can actually tune your fans as well. So you can tune them to what you'd like. Um, automatically, the software does it. It's really, really cool. The Digi Plus VRM, if we go into here, this is going to be all of your power phase control and all of that stuff that is, um, that you again, that you, so you don't have to go into the BIOS and do it. It's just so much easier to do it in here. And again, you can see all of the information that comes up over here when I hover over something. It just gives you a lot of information. It kind of tells you what's going on. Um, again, you can change all this stuff however you like it. And then the new thing that they've added is the Turbo app. So what this actually does is you can actually prioritize your application. So it's gonna show you all of the applications that you have open and you can actually prioritize their performance. So just to add one in here, we can add the AI Suite 3, which we're of course using. And I assume these sliders are for the actual, um, the actual processor. So these will be your cores, I believe. And then over here, you can set your audio. So you can set it to movie, music, or game. And then you can set it your LAN setting to high, middle, and low, and of course default. Um, so you can pri prioritize your apps, which is pretty cool. So if you have something that you want to take more priority over the other, you can go ahead and do that right in here. And then our EPU, this is our energy saving modes and all of that stuff you can set up. And there's actually different modes. So you can change the modes. You can go ahead and, you know, tell the PC when to go to sleep, when to do all that stuff. Um, you know, there's different modes here 
that you can go through and change the different settings, which is actually pretty cool if you're into saving um, energy. And of course, that of course, in the end saves you money. So you can go ahead and change all of that stuff. So if we go out of here and we go back, we'll have USB 3.0 boost, which is really great. And what that does is it is going to detect your USB 3.0 drives and you can actually speed it up with ASUS's driver. So ASUS has a custom driver for this that will actually speed up your USB 3.0 drives. Just makes it, you know, transferring files and things like that much easier. We have our easy update, which is really great. Um, what this is actually going to do is it's going to allow you to easily update um, the BIOS, you know, and you can actually update your BIOS logo as well. Um, sometimes people have trouble updating BIOSes, so what you can do is you can go to ASUS's website, you can download the BIOS file, you can save it on your computer, and you can do it right here um, through the application down here. But if you want to make it even easier, you can actually check for updates on the uh, from the internet, and this will actually update your drivers and software as well, I believe. Now we're going to go to our system information and this is just going to give you your basic information on your system. So we have information for our motherboard and BIOS, our CPU, of course, and then our SPD information for our memory. And then um, push notice, this will actually send you alerts, um, you know, on your computer for different things like restarting, shutdown, sleep, all the different stuff. It will give you, um, you know, say the PC is going to go to sleep, it will actually send you an alert. Um, to let you know that, all that different kind of stuff. Um, you can set up PC status alerts for voltages, temperatures, and fan speeds. And you can actually send a message um, if you'd like. You can do all of that. And then finally, we just have our version, which is going to give us our version numbers for the different software that we have installed. And that is kind of it for the AI Suite 3. Um, Again, it's very in-depth. You can do a lot with it. And the main reason for this companion software, not only to help you do some things like, you know, speed up your USB and, and prioritize applications, but also so you can do overclocking and system tuning without having to go in the BIOS. So if you have any questions on the AI Suite 3 or anything like that, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.